I wanted to go over control cables a little bit. Um, this is something a lot of people don't really understand and don't really look at too well. Sometimes what they'll do is if the cable goes bad in their boat, they'll have somebody put the exact same cable in it. Uh, there has been numerous manufacturers of cables, control cables for throttle and shift that have been produced. Mercury makes their own, Yamaha makes their own. Uh, they're more than likely, you know, Telefax oriented maybe, or they might be an old Morse cable from years ago that was bought by Teleflex. And then there's Uflex, and then there's another one, Glendening. And I wanted to just go over them a little bit in their structure. So in the old design years ago, you had the, the standard Morse red jacket cable, which is owned by Teleflex. I've taken four different cables that are all 20 feet long, I've taken the ends and I've popped those out of the, the boxes. They're not exactly at the same angle, but it'll give about the same tension on the cable. So the structure, you know, they're, these are all designed to go in remote controls for outboards and stern drives. You can buy a control cable for just about any purpose from Teleflex. So this old red jacket cable is very stiff. It's a steel on steel cable. Um, something we used in mechanical transmissions years ago. You won't see it too much. And if you do run into one, it's a good idea to change it. Um, the other thing to make note is how much play is there in the cable. So in other words, how much in and out play do you get of the cable before the other end moves? That's something else that's important. If there's a lot of distance slack inside the cable, obviously you're going to get more play. This one has some uh, some of them, the longer ones, have a good bit more. So the upfit to that on the Teleflex cables, um, your Teleflex Extreme cables that are you know very commonly used. A lot of boat manufacturers and boat repair facilities um, will use these. And this cable is 20 feet long again, and it has again a good bit of play in the end of it before the cable actually starts to move and that was one thing that i noticed when i was changing cables that i had too much slack in some applications and it left a lot of throw before it would go into gear or the throttle would actually it's a reasonably smooth cable it's probably a hundred times smoother than the old red jacket cable it's it's a it's a decent cable i like them um, and then we have Uflex Corporation. So um, the Uflex Corporation makes controls and they make cables. They've been around for a while, not as long obviously as some other manufacturers. This is their mock series cable, all right? And this cable is smoother a little bit, maybe, than the extreme cable. Maybe a little bit smoother. And again, what I'm interested in again is how much play, and I'm holding the shaft, and less play in a 20 foot, 20 foot cable than on the Teleflex cable. I put, personally, I bought a Uflex control to replace the control on my boat, I like the looks of it, and I put Uflex cables in it. Um, maybe five years later, one of the cables bound up. I wasn't too happy about that. I had a Mercruiser control in it for 16 years before that with the original cables before they wore out and that's when I changed the control so um, That led me to do some more research because of the play in that cable and I found this company They've been around for a long time Glendenning Glendenning is a company that made from what I remember when I was younger, you know 25 years ago They made synchronizers mechanical synchronizers for diesel engines um, then they got into electronic controls um, so uh, that company has been around for a long time and they also make control cables and their control cables as you can see are for various types of engines you can see VRP Johnson mercury outboards um, a standard cable so virtually anything you need it for like Teleflex you can buy these the one thing that I was very very interested about this cable was the design of it and I talked to another gentleman who was a distributor for them in North Carolina. And um, he says they're handmade in North Carolina. So they're made in the United States. And they are about the smoothest cable that you could imagine. It is so smooth 
and I'm not lying, it is just worlds apart from these cables. And if I even take this to make it maybe the same distance, so it's kind of the same distance, I've got to put at least twice the effort in this cable. This cable's like butter, just goes in and out. I mean, you can see if I just barely hold the box. If I hold this box, or even try this end, you can see it's smooth, but it's still gonna move the box around, right? So it's very much smoother cable. So I switched my cables over to Glendon, and this is the only cable now that I sell. It's the only thing that I'm gonna install. I've just found that through trial and error and testing of these that it is a far superior cable. It has Teflon all the way through the inside. That's why it's inside is coated. And that's why it's very, very smooth and it's very, very easy to, to uh, use. They're also quite manipulative. You can bend them a little bit more around corners. So you don't get that. If you have a sharp 90 degree coming out of the helm, going down to the back of the boat, you don't get the binding that you do in these other design cables. They will start to bind up earlier. So not to be a salesman, but just to show you that uh, there is a difference and there is, I think, a much better cable out there to the, the large manufacturer Teleflex, which you get advertising all the time. And a lot of people may not know that this is um, available. So all you have to really do is go online to Glendening, G-L-E-N-D-I-N-N-I-N-G. Just type that in the internet and you'll go to the site. They can all walk you right through whatever cable it is. You just need the distance that's marked on the jacket of your cable. Whatever that length is, they'll tell you for that application and uh, you can get the cables. The other thing that I noticed was, believe it or not, they're cheaper than Teleflex. So, you know, buy what you want, but I'm just giving you my, my uh, professional uh, two cents on this cable being the one that I'm using.